Hey everyone, so another vlog for you today. I don't actually know if you guys are liking these videos because nobody ever comments on them, but what the heck, I'm doing it anyway. So, I brought the horses in last night after about a month of them being out in the field, so I thought, let's do a vlog for you. So we're going to go up, we're going to do like all the yard jobs, I'm going to do a bit of work with Dora, so I'm going to lunge her a little bit. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with Storm yet, it depends what the baby's feeling like, if the baby's sort of in a good mood and we might be able to sit him on him and go for a walk around the paddock, um, otherwise I'll just have to long grain him around the paddock, um, because he doesn't lunge, because he's had a bit of a bad experience before I got him, so he doesn't lunge, but he long grains, so we'll have to see what he does. So I finally made it to the yard, it's half eleven, normally I'm here for like half nine, ten o'clock at the latest, but this little lazy one wouldn't get out of bed. So I had to go and wake him up and then obviously I had to give him his breakfast and sort him out and get him dressed and everything. So, my ponies have been in. They look a bit more pampered compared to the last time you saw them. They've had a good groom and that. She's just grumpy because I'm late. And to check. And she doesn't really like being stabled. Like, she prefers being out. You want smooches? Oh, you lovable boy. He's like, I've missed this, mom. It's like, I've missed this so much. He loves the cushy life. He literally loves being in. Like, he just... He's just a lovable, lovable little pony. Um, he loves the cush life, so he absolutely adores being in a stable. She prefers sort of like being out, to be fair, because um, when she's in, she, turned up, she does get a bit stressy. Um, so I prefer her to be out, and I think she prefers it as well, because obviously she's got the company of everything, and she's just a lot friendlier when she's out. But because she's been out for a month now, she's gone a lot friendlier towards me, like... Normally she spooks and stuff when bringing her in. Whereas last night I was able to walk her alongside the pram through fields to get her up here and she was absolutely fine. So she might have had a change of heart. Throwing her out for a month without any interaction might have been good for her. Um, so who knows? We shall see. But this fat one's going to get lunged. And she chicken. She's like, oh, really? Oh, okay. So I'll bring her back into work nice and slow, do a bit of lunging with her. I'm going to put the bungee on her um, just so it helps her stretch out and stretch her muscles and brings her head nice and low um, and just work her back in slower because I'm not just going to throw myself on her and hammer her straight away because that's not fair on her because she's super unfit because I haven't done much with her. So we're going to build her up and go from there. Don't you just hate it when you buy a new brow band in black thinking that your tack's black and it's not. It's actually brown. Fail. So apparently I give me black bridal wear and I don't have a black bridal no more. So that's a bit disappointing. Oh well, brow band's still pretty. She'll look cute. I'll just have to buy her a new bridal now. So now she's actually out of a stable, she does get quite spooky and she relies on me for confidence. So this is where we'll see what she's like after a month of being off. So basically with this, the bungee, it just attaches to the bit, goes down through the front legs and around the back. So it just encourages them to lengthen the poll. So just stretch them out. Um, it doesn't hurt them in any way. It's all elasticated. It's all nice and loose. So it just encourages them to just stretch out. So just wanted to point that out before like everyone's being like, oh my God, what are you doing to your horse? Lucas is in the corner there. He's going to scream because he doesn't like being in his pram, but I really need to get the horses worked. So we're just going to have to work through it the best we can. So I've not even brushed her because of I'm only lunging her. So she's got straw and stuff in her fur, but oh well, let's just go D. Let's see what we do. Lucas James, chill out lad. He's already started. Great. So this is Dora's bad rain. So normally she'll try and turn in and stop doing what she's supposed to do. And normally she just freaks out and starts cantering like mad. But so far she's doing pretty good. So we're just going to take it nice and slow with her. I don't want her to get worked up too much. Because obviously, like I say, she's been out of work for a long time. So we just want to keep her moving and just stretch them legs and make sure she's working herself nicely as well and stretching out her top line and just not getting too much of a stress head really Shot on she normally is pretty good once you get her going she is normally pretty good so we do this on both reins as well because obviously they always have one rein better than the other so the other rein is a lot better so I normally start her out on her bad rein first so that we can finish on a positive note because obviously you never want to finish something on a negative note because obviously they remember it for next time so this girl has been 
messed around a bit and she does get finished off on a negative note before we got her quite a bit hence why we do have quite a few problems with her so we're trying to work her through it and just get her right to how we want her i mean she's 13 now but she's getting there she is a lot better she used to spook at that um, wagon all the time and she used to spook at just like the wind and everything so just done She's doing really, really well, so I can't fault her. So we're just going to work her through it and see how she goes basically today and just make her go nice and steady and not work the hell out of her basically. <coughs> so this is a canter for those of you who don't have horses. Um, it is quite hard to canter in this paddock because it is quite small. <coughs> canter! Um, but she does pretty well but look at her she moves beautifully she really does move beautifully and trot trot down see what she's in canter she there we go it takes her a while to come back down to a trot but she moves beautifully look at them legs absolutely gorgeous paces so I've just swapped her reins over. This is her much better rein. She does a lot better on this one um, with ridden work and with lunging. Um, so we're just going to keep her going, keep her in a nice pace, work her up to canter, work her back down to walk and then do a nice cool off. So this is basically all I've got planned for her. Ah, 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 trot on, trot on. Good girl. So, she gets a bit lazy though. She is a very lazy girl. So I'm just going to keep her moving and basically get her fitter. Good girl. Trotting on. Trotting on. I can tell she's getting tired. Her paces aren't as big and um, obviously she's not she's not being as flashy on this side like flicking her feet as much so the month off has definitely um definitely taken its toll on her fitness but just work her back up day by day and we'll get her back to um some form of good fitness and then we can take her out again and um start riding her proper good girl so before I put D back in, I don't know if I explained the reason for lunging. So for those of you thinking, oh my God, you have run your, your horse around in circles for fun, we don't. Lunging is a basic groundwork method that improves their rhythm, their fitness, their gait, and it helps the horse to respond to their owners or whoever's riding them or working them, helps to respond to their commands and know what they're asking of them. Because if you get on a horse that you've never ever worked with before when you jump in the saddle, sometimes the horse doesn't always understand what you're asking of them because people ask for different things, like people ask for stuff differently. Yeah. So there's always different commands. Some people will ride Dora different to what I will. We don't like running around our horses in circles for fun. Um, we just do it for the purpose of the fact it helps get them fitter. It's it's all about training and making the horse the best they can be and as safe as they can be. So in America, people have round pens. Oh, what's going on? In America, people have round pens where they won't use like lunge lines and stuff. They'll just send them out in a circle and use voice commands and do it that way. But obviously in the UK, we don't really have round pens. We just have like square paddocks. So we have to use the good old fashioned lunge line and bridle. Some people will use side reins instead of a bungee. Some people won't use anything. It just depends on what your horse um, is capable of and obviously what you need from your horse. So different people use different training aids. I've got side reins I will use side reins on her as well sometimes I won't use anything because I don't like having all the pressure on her head and on her back all the time so nine times out of ten I do lunge her with absolutely nothing on but sometimes we'll put side reins or we'll put the bungee on her just depends on what I'm asking of her but because she's not been worked for such a long time I wanted to stretch out and loosen up all the muscles especially a pole and her back so that's what we're working on so no we don't like running our horses around in circles for fun it's just all part of training it's all part of groundwork and that's what makes a good horse so I've tacked Storm up, I'm going to take the baby for a little just wander around the paddock, obviously the baby can't really ride so it's just the purpose of me sitting and the baby on him and then me guiding Storm and the baby just learning his balance on the horse, Dora is trying to attack Storm. Would you behave? 
she doesn't like him being in her space at all. Like, really ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Look at them. They hate each other. Um, so, yeah, Storm has just got a basic saddle. He's not got a fancy-dancy one because, obviously, my kid wears nothing and I wasn't spending, like, £200 on a saddle when Storm shape changes all the time and I don't even know if my kid's going to enjoy riding. So we've just got him a cheap cub saddle. Great for kids to learn to ride on because they've got a handle just here. Good boy, Storm. So I've put them both in here for a leg stretch because um, I'm not putting them back out in the field today. They're going back out tomorrow night because I'm in work on Saturday and Sunday. So if I put them back out on Friday night, Saturday and Sunday, I've only just got to come and check on them. I don't have to do no yard job, which makes it really, really easy for me. Oi, watch your fingers. You want your crippies? Um, so just in paddock, having a bit of a leg stretch. So they'll have fun running around with each other for a bit. Um, I've still got to do my jobs. Um, my stables are a mess. Everything's a mess. Um, basically, all of this, you can see the difference in colour slightly. All of this is just pure wet. So, Dora's going to need a good, good going over in her bed. Um, I've still got all my jobs to do. Like, my waters aren't too bad. I can get away with sifting them out um, and topping them up. Um, but yeah, hay nets, they've still got quite a lot of hay in from this morning, so yeah. You can't feed the cat a jam sandwich, baby. Buy him his own tools and he'd rather use yours. Typical that, isn't it? But he's helping, aren't you? Look, he's got his own little shovel, his own little brush, his own little barrow. No, he'd rather use the big tools. So I got here at half eleven. It's now half three and I'm only just finishing my jobs. So normally I can get the horses done hour and a half to two hours, depending on what I'm doing with them. But uh, for some reason it's taken me almost four hours today. But I think it's partly because I've got the baby with me and it it he just runs off. It just takes twice as long with him, like he, he runs off, he doesn't do as he's told, he wrecks me beds. It's all good fun. I'm going to proper struggle in winter. Now I know the reason why I left my horses to live out. It's because my kid's an absolute pain in the backside. So, it's all good fun. Because i got to do it again tomorrow. <sighs> it's absolutely pouring it down now. It was lovely before. And now it's piddling it down with rain. What are you doing? He won't keep his coat on, so now he's going to get soaked. The joys of having children and animals. Don't do it, guys. It's stressful. I'm finally done you guys, so it's about four o'clock. Normally I would go home and come back to feed, but normally I'm done by like 11 at the latest. Um, so for that reason, I've chucked in extra hay, chucked in extra water. I'll be down tomorrow for them. Ponies are in, they're happy. Got the pony balls. Good job. <laughs> She won't put her head up for nothing, her. D Loves the food too much, can you tell? So yeah, that is basically all I've done today is sort horses out, shovel poo, and run round after me screaming kid. So, I hope you guys like this vlog. Let me know if you want to see more horse vlogs. Let me know if you enjoyed seeing us work the horses. Just give us some feedback, because nobody ever comments on the videos anymore. So, they like them, they just don't comment. So, let me know if you like this sort of thing, guys. I'm going to go take my kid home because he's absolutely drove me insane and hopefully he'll go for a nap on the bus home, which would be absolutely great because I'm stressed, I'm knackered. Having a kid and two horses really is so hard. I have struggled so much today. Normally, I don't struggle as much, but I think it's because they've been living out for so long now. I've just completely gotten out of a routine and... I think it's because I'm so unorganised, like, I've not got no straw in the barn. Um, I have to wait for someone to put one in, but I've not seen anyone for a, probably about a month. Um, so, I mean, 
normally I buy big bales which makes it easier for me to bed them down and give them nice big beds and stuff like that I mean I've got hay so that's not an issue it's just I'm just super unorganized I really need to get back into it before winter because otherwise I'm really really going to struggle but I suppose it's all part of the fun when you have horses and when you've got a kid and when you've got a menagerie of little animals at home as well isn't it but I signed up for it so just got to crack on and do it haven't you um so yeah as always guys thank you so much for the support thank you so much for watching take care and i shall see you soon bye